Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 24, and this is war number five, and we're going up against an alliance called Marvel Now. All right, so starting with the next war, I'm going to start recording my scouting. But for this video, I've already scouted out my path, and the first thing I noticed is that they had two Medusas on my path. So they didn't care about diversity. They were trying for uh, more difficult defenders. All right, so I take path three in both section one and two. And path three, as you can see the nodes here, um, does have a chance for mystic champions to fail their nullification. But Black Widow Clairvoyant she nullifies so often that she's gonna get a lot of chances. So she'll fail a lot, but she'll also get them. She's still the best counter uh, that I have for this Medusa. And as you can see, she's still nullifying. And, you know, um, Medusa got two Furies up right now. Now she's got the Living Strands, okay? So now we have to be careful. You know, we can't, uh, just go attack her willy-nilly. Uh, so you can see that I'm playing it a little bit safe. I'm only hitting her once so as to not trigger her auto block. All right. And I just was waiting it out. I could also do heavy attacks. And if she starts to push me into the corner, I can hit into her block and not trigger the auto block. All right. So that Medusa is down. On to the next one, and it's going to be more of the same. Uh, I don't remember uh, how this fight exactly went, but I don't believe I had any problems with it. Let's see here. Um, yeah. Uh, so something that I often do, right in the beginning of the fight, I kind of look to see how much health I've been taking down just in my first few attacks. And as you can see, we are going through her like butter hot knife through butter and that medusa went even easier than the first one that's probably why i didn't remember it too well so she used to be a very very powerful defender uh you would see her as the final boss in alliance war uh these days not so much uh even even back then uh folks with corvus uh, we learned how to fight her uh, and take her out. Now, there are no linked nodes anymore in Alliance War. The best change they have made in a long time. Still don't like Alliance War, but I like it a little bit more. Or I should say, I hate it a little bit less. Now, this fight, this is a good placement for Thing. This felt like a boss fight to me. So... Here's the thing. Uh, this node has that strike counter fury. Look at the furies that thing is accumulating. Okay. Um, you can't nullify. So he's going to just keep building up these furies for the entire fight. And you have to play very carefully. Now, I also want you to watch Nick Fury's health. Now, Nick Fury is a great counter for Thing. When Stubborn was there, he worked out beautifully. That's how I got my first one shot against Thing as the boss. All right. And what happens to managing his uh, rock charges? Because that's what you want to do with Thing. You want to manage those rock charges. Nick Fury bleeds a lot. So I don't often have to worry about pushing him to 15 and then baiting out a special attack. All right. But... On this node, Thing is just building the Furies up. Look at these Furies, guys. All right? So he's legit uh, a dangerous man right now. He can take out an opponent in one or two attacks, and he's done that to me before. Now, the advantage that I have with Nick Fury, we're still on the life model decoy. The real Nick Fury is not even out yet. So... I have a buffer, but look at the health. Even uh, getting hit into my block is doing crazy damage. All right, so uh, I don't know how many 
other counters uh, will work here. You can play very, very well. You want to manage those rock charges. Uh, I'm thinking perhaps Falcon may be good against this thing. Uh, and I'm trying to think of who else might be. You know, Gwenpool uh, might be good against this thing, but you would definitely have to not get hit. And we got him down. That felt like an epic fight to me, guys. I remember going in there and, you know, I'm thinking, all right, let me just take this thing down. Shouldn't be too difficult. And I saw the Furies and I'm just like, oh, oh, yeah, that's right. Because I remember he did that to me before and caught me. And I said, oh, yeah, that's a good placement for thing. But I didn't even uh, lose my first life with Nick Fury. Had I done that, you know, I still would have been able to finish the fight off. But I like to have that little buffer of health, you know, um, with Nick Fury. All right, so now we're in section two. And you can see the nodes we have to deal with. Uh, a lot of times I'll see a Colossus on this node. But this time it's going to be Doom. So during my scouting, you know, I saw all of this and I'm like, okay, I am fairly comfortable fighting Doom. Never thought I'd be able to say that. When Doom first came out, he was a wrecking ball. All right. And I had a hard time fighting him. I couldn't evade his specials. But over time, I've gotten used to it. And... Uh, I'm pretty comfortable evading his special one. Uh, if you watched my uh, previous war video, you'll see that I also am able to uh, dex his special two. But I try not to do that one uh, just, just because it's a little bit trickier uh, to evade. Uh, and I'm just far more comfortable with the special one. All right. But as you can see here, we switched our... our um, curses. So we're in the uh, incinerate phase. So we're doing a lot of damage. My health is pretty good here. All right. And you can see here, I'm baiting out the uh, special one so that I don't have to deal with the special two. All right. And uh, I didn't finish my combo uh, because sometimes my swipe will read as a uh, tap or a light attack and it'll switch her out of the mode that I want her to be in. So I'll often not finish and not do a five hit combo, do maybe a three or a four hit combo. All right, but Doom is down. And next up, we've got Hulkbuster. Now Hulkbuster just got a rework not that long ago. And he is far more annoying now than he has been for a very long time. I do remember a time where Hulkbuster was a very powerful defender but that was a very long time ago. Then they did a rework. Now he's a pretty nasty defender, uh, especially on the right node. Uh, he can catch people. Uh, I've fought him on some other nodes and he's caught me. You know, the one that extends the, uh, uh, the buffs. Uh, it'll catch you if you push him to a special two. So you don't want to push him to a special two. You want to stick with the special one. All right, so... We we're just chewing him down. And as you saw, we were able to heal ourselves back up. I love Black Widow Clairvoyant. Very, very awesome champion. So I was actually in a pretty good position as I moved to um, Mini Boss Island. Uh, I did not fight this Dragon Man. I thought about it. Uh, maybe with Claire in her uh, Curse of Plague or Warlock. Uh, and just parry, parry, you know, to deal with that buffet. But I think my alliance mates had better options for that. So I went to, you know, mini boss island and waited for further instructions. And usually we'll have some people that have perfect counters for some of them that uh, they'll boost and then just clear it out. Okay. Uh, but sometimes I'm asked, hey, you're Claire would be great for uh, this fight. Can you take him out? Jump right on in it, okay? But uh, that's it for this portion of the war. Uh, I apologize for the no sound. I was having some sound issues. Uh, I don't remember if I fixed it by the next war, but 
it is fixed now. It's very annoying. Uh, after an update, Windows sometimes does this. Uh, and I always forget, and I say always, but it's only happened one time before. Uh, but I forgot what I did that last time. All right, but uh, we'll take a brief intermission and we'll be back and you guys will see the results. And we're back. And as you can see, we won this war. Uh, we're on a winning streak right now. Uh, we've only lost the first war of the season. So if we continue on this winning streak, we actually have a shot to hit uh, Platinum 3. But, you know, we're pretty sure we'll get Platinum 4 at the very least. But uh, let's see how uh, the war goes. Now, some of you may have noticed or you may not have noticed, but I'm in a different battle group. Uh, before this war, our alliance went through uh, quite a bit of a change. Uh, some people left, uh, battle groups were rearranged, so I'm no longer in battle group three, I'm now in battle group one. And I was able to still take path three, uh, as I did in the other battle group. The other major change is that Dorky Diggity Dave, who founded this alliance, has decided to step down. Uh, his life is just really busy right now, and he's not able to put the time into the alliance that he would have liked to. Um, he, you know, had a lot more time before when he created the alliance, but right now, he just doesn't have the time. Uh, we wish him well in whatever he does, and we're hoping he stays in touch, uh, and it looks like he will. All right, but... That's what's going on a little bit behind the scenes and why you saw a change in the battle groups. All right. So that's going to do it, guys. Thank you for watching. Take care. Click like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about the video. What did you think about that thing fight? Do you have some counters that you think would uh, do very well against him on that node? Leave a comment. Let me know. All right. So take care and you all have a blessed day.